Hi everyone, I hope you are doing very well and welcome back to the VCDial video training series. This is part 11 and today we will learn what is call spy and what is barge functionality in a call center. I will first demonstrate these functionalities in VCDial and then we will learn how to enable these features for VCDial call center supervisors. Let's start by a demo. Okay, let's see what is call spy and what is call barge and how we can use it in VCDial as a supervisor. If you select reports and then go to the real time main report, you are able to see the information of your agents in real time. For example, here I have one agent that is uh, logging on station 5554 with the username of POC user1. Uh, here is the real-time panel. Of course, you can change some options. So if you select choose report display options, for example, you can set the screen refresh rate instead of 40 seconds to 4 seconds, so it will refresh faster. Or you can change the view to the HTML view. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's a better view. I prefer this one. So uh, how we can use the call a spy or call barge functionality. If I select the choose report display option, I have an option monitor here. I want to monitor or spy. I need to insert my soft phone or my extension here. For example, I registered my Zoeper soft phone as 5555 and I submit. As I submit, of course, because my user has this access to call a spy, a new field is appearing here that I can click and listen to the conversation of this user. This user is in call, I can listen, means uh, we call this monitor or spy because uh, agent won't know you are listening to the conversation. So if I click listen, it will call my soft phone. I can answer it, and now I can listen to the conversation without POC user one knows that I'm listening to that. So this functionality is a spy or monitor. Of course, when I want to hang up, I hang up here, when I don't want to listen anymore. And next function is barge. In the barge mode, when you are in a barge mode, uh, if you barge this conversation, you will enter to the conversation and both parties, I mean the customer and your agent, will hear a beep and then you can talk to both of them. So it's like a conference, but you uh, enter to their conversation. Usually it's useful, for example, um, your agent uh, has a problem or they are talking to the customer, but they want, to be, they want you to kick in and, uh, for example, discuss about something. So they will ask you and uh, you can just click barge. And if you click barge, the same mechanism, it will ring your phone. You need to answer it. Now you are in the conversation with two parties, with your agent and also with the customer. This is barge functionality. In the next part, we will learn how to enable this for supervisor. This next part is more for the uh, visual admins. Enabling call spy and call barge functionality in VCDial is very easy and straightforward. You need to log in to the admin panel, select users, select the user that you want to give access to. For example, I want to give access to these functionalities, spy and barge to the POC manager. So I select user POC manager. Of course, they need to have access to the view reports because if they cannot see view reports, if they cannot view any reports, they cannot select the real time report. So change this to one. Also, the main option that you need to change is this one, agent API access. Select and change it as one. This is the option that if you enable, then the supervisors will have access to barge uh, or a spy. Please pay attention. 
agent API access and not this one API only user because if you set this as one then your manager or your supervisors are not even able to log into the panel that's it so this is how we are enabling these features thank you for watching this video and i see you in the next video thank you